My name is Sarah Convalin. My pronouns are they, them. I'm from Longview, Texas. I play horn, and I'm a member of the orchestra now. I really admired my dad for just his musical abilities, um, how he could play so many different types of instruments. That's largely the reason why I became a musician. So when I was in fifth grade, I had the choice to be in either band or orchestra. And since my dad played trumpet and my sister was also playing trumpet, I decided I wanted to play a brass instrument. Um, and so we went to a concert and the horn player stood up and played a little bit. And I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Like, I, wanna, I think I wanna do that. <laughs> My favorite concerts that we do are the sight and sound concerts at the Met Museum, um, where we break down a work into little pieces and we pair it with a, an exhibit in the Met Museum. I love the way that we talk about like the different parts of the music and we break it down in a way that's really interesting. I think that these concerts are really important because it can change the way that we present classical music. Um, it doesn't have to just be a concert where you sit down and watch somebody play music and you don't get to ask any questions. Um, it's presented in a way that's interesting and I think people love to learn just like anything else about classical music when it's presented in a way that's interesting. My hope is that over the pandemic, um, that orchestras have really had a chance to sit down and learn from people like Monica Ellis, Anthony McGill, Weston Sprott, Tanya Leon, who are doing the work and explaining um, what we can do to make orchestras a better place for um, all people. It's about changing the culture of orchestras so that um, people naturally want to work there and then that diversity will come naturally. Orchestras need to think about ways that they can make the work environment more positive for everyone involved. It means a lot for me as a person um, to be on stage with my purple hair, with my blue tie, to be visibly trans, um, but that representation isn't enough to change the culture of the orchestras. The most important thing is that we make a positive work environment for everybody. Thank <laughs> you.